In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory be to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. What does Christmas mean to me? J.I. Packer, in his book, Knowing God, calls it the wonder of grace. That time in the history of the world when God came in flesh, in humility, in the form of a baby, fully divine and fully human, wonderful counselor, mighty God, Prince of Peace, everlasting Father. What does Christmas mean to me? It means that any human being on this earth can change. It means we've seen marriages restored. It means we've seen the addicted back to health. It means that we've seen orphans find a home. It means that we've seen war ceased and peace abound. It means that we found a place we can call home. It means, church, that you and me have a message to bring every child, woman and man of every generation, that there is hope no matter what they're going through. This year, Google said the most searched line was, can I change? The Christmas story, the Christmas message, answers that unapologetically, yes. We can change, you can change, I can change. Because the baby born at Christmas was God in the flesh that came for you and came for me. That is a gift that keeps on giving every single day. Merry Christmas, everybody. Love you. Peace. What does Christmas mean to me? So many things. This year, I've been thinking a lot about how it's okay to not be okay. And thinking about how Jesus, the Prince of Peace from the Kingdom of God, entered a place that was not okay to save a people who were not okay in a way that was really quite counterintuitive. Because up until then, 
we seem to be thinking that violence could end violence, war could cure war, hate could conquer hate, pride could overcome pride, and revenge could stop revenge. It didn't work then, it doesn't work now. And Jesus showed us a different way, and he did that by becoming the most vulnerable of all creatures. And he did that by showing us that we can't do it ourselves. So I've been thinking a lot this Christmas about how we cannot produce or make or become whatever it is that we think we should be, the ideal, the peaceful, the joyful. But actually, we have to receive it. Christmas means that we can receive peace, that we don't have to manufacture it, that as hard as we work, <laughs> we'll never be better than God, and that God actually has offered God's self to us. How great is that? What joy, what peace, what love. Thanks be to God. What does Christmas mean to you, or what do you think the meaning of Christmas is? Okay, so what's the meaning of Christmas? That's a really good question. I think that all the twinkling lights are announcing to the world that the wait is finally over. That we've known in our bones all this time that we needed healing and we needed a savior and we needed forgiveness. And for thousands of years, the world has hoped and believed that one day God would send someone to rescue us. And I think the great shock and mystery of Christmas is that he didn't send someone to rescue us, that he came himself to begin this great rescue operation that ultimately leads to the cross. And so every bit of it, all of it, was motivated by his love for you and me. That's what Christmas is all about. It's all about God's love. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Merry Christmas. God bless you.